You people swore an oath to the Constitution, and you swore an oath to protect my rights, and now you've just violated my First Amendment right and my Fourth Amendment right. And you're going to learn that from a judge in court. I have very good attorneys, so and you have no idea who you're messing with. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. And we are coming to you today from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And we are at a state-owned liquor store here in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, here in Idaho, it's a similar situation to Utah. Uh, not sure if you saw any of our, our video there. Um, but the state owned some of the liquor stores here in Idaho. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on them and find out if they have any issues with us uh, taking photographs and video on public property. Um, I am out with watching the watchman today. He's uh, over there somewhere doing his intro. And uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Good to see you. And uh, hopefully this will be an interesting one for you. So uh, I know the one in Utah was. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, meanwhile, let me give you a little look at the neighborhood here where we are. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, August 24th. It is 4.20 in the afternoon, and it is 74 degrees, sunny and beautiful in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Hey, making out there, Watchman? It's happening. So you wanna check out what kind of signage we have on the door here and see what's going on? So it says, Idaho Liquor Division. Must be 21 with valid ID to enter or be accompanied by a parent. Well, that's good. That means Washman could come inside with me. Nice. Uh, this property is monitored by audio, video surveillance, cameras for the protection of our customers and employees. They are hiring. But if you haven't played Powerball or Mega yet, get your tickets. Almost 300 million on each. If you do that sort of thing. Some folks having a good time. And uh, as you can see, the liquor store is right next to a supermarket called Lakeside Harvest Foods. They uh, share a parking lot here. Yeah, you do. You can catch a little glimpse of the scenery there off in the distance. Um, beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing uh, northern Idaho would be considered part of the Pacific Northwest, uh, where we are. And it's uh, very mountainous, beautiful, uh, lots of very tall, big trees and forests. And it's a uh, very nice, uh, it's my favorite kind of landscape. Watchman here prefers the desert. Say seagull? Yeah. Well, that makes more sense here than it does in Wyoming. <laughs> we saw seagulls in Wyoming. How does that even happen? How you doing? What are we filming? Sorry? What are we filming? Oh, I'm just in the middle of something, but thanks.
Probably the same reason you are. Yeah. See, there's a person that asks, doesn't get their answer, asks again, doesn't get their answer, asks again, and eventually it'll turn into a demand, and why are you harassing me? Um, so just better off to stay out of those things. She can create a situation all on her own if she likes to. Audits on YouSorry? You do those First Amendment audits on YouTube? First Amendment audit? What is the First Amendment audit? For like your video in public or whatnot? Oh, I do video in public. Oh, I'm just curious. That's what you're doing. Yeah, no. You look familiar. Could be the beard. Could be the beard. Yeah. Have a good one. Handsome guys always look familiar. Hey, that's what I get, too. Right on, man. Have a good day. Appreciate you. And uh, sometimes I'm into the conversations, and sometimes I just want to uh, be left alone to do as I do. The bottom line is, at the end of the day, you, if you're standing on public property and minding your own business you don't owe anybody an explanation of what you're doing if you feel like explaining yourself that's entirely up to you uh, if you don't want to explain yourself there's no reason you should have to but did you notice that guy didn't say anything when he went in yeah. so the woman that went in that was taking your picture or video or whatever must have said something out loud he heard it and then that gave him the juice to come out and say something about it that's how it usually goes nobody will say anything until one person becomes boisterous one little spark can set the whole forest fire off. And then they try to spin it into you're creating a disturbance, you're scaring customers away. So best off to just mind your business sometimes and do as you do. Oh, you have a Coeur d'Alene officer pulling in. Going to get some coffee. So the cop's either getting coffee or he's pulling up to ask them what they know about us. We'll find out in a minute. Stay tuned. Oh, I'm not loitering. You are. I'm gonna call the cops if you don't leave. I walked in complained about you guys. Do you know the and definition of loitering? You. When you stand in front of the store. Standing in front of the store, hanging out without a purpose. <laughs> yeah, I would call too. Yeah. You're a little fire starter, aren't you? Yeah. yeah and you're proud of yourself. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you'll maybe you'll be part of the whole solution. You can put me down for that too. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Give her your ID. Yeah, good. Very good. Some love freedom, some can't stand it, huh? I got your picture already. I turned it in. Oh, well, you can go home and play with yourself looking at it. <laughs> and uh, just to be clear, Hey guys? Yes, sir. You can film out in the parking lot, but you gotta get off our property. You, why's that? Because you're bothering a customer. No, I'm purposely staying 20 feet back from the door, not bothering anybody. We don't care what your purpose is. It's not a purpose that we recognize. You don't care? What, I say that again, I couldn't hear you with that truck going by. I said, we don't. You affiliated with what? Well, no, what did you say? I didn't hear what you I said. said. We don't really care what your purpose is. You don't care what my purpose is? No. Okay. So you can film from out in the parking lot, but not on our property. That's still on our property. Whose property is this? What? Whose property is this? The state's. Right. Which makes it public property. Oops. Sure it is. Like I said. What I'm doing is, is I'm an investigative journalist and I'm working on a story. Well, yeah. let me see your credentials. No, well, I don't really care what your purpose is and I'm not interested in having the conversation. If you don't show your credentials, we're going to call the cops. You can call whoever you want to call. That's up to you. Okay. Knock yourself out. Let's see your ID. Let's see your ID, yeah. Cops are right here. Cops are right here.
So we have Coeur d'Alene vehicle K27, plate P1594. What's up, guys? How we doing? What are you guys up to? Can I just ask name and badge number so I know who I'm talking to? My name is Officer Kayafa. Kayafa? Yeah. Hi, sir. Do you, would you like these gentlemen to leave here? Pardon me? Would you like them? Are they go here or do you want them to leave? Uh, we do want them to leave. They're standing here. They're filming the customers for. Okay. So you want them to trespass? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Well, you can't, you know, nobody, first of all. Do you uh, have ID on you? First of all, let me have a conversation with you. I was not asked. Great. Can I get a cover? I was not asked to leave. Okay. Okay. I'm standing out here on public property. Okay. okay this is not private property. Uh, I understand, but he doesn't want you on the liquor store, so you could stay in the, in the parking lot. You just can't go on the side of the I didn't go. I'm standing 20 feet back from the door. Do you have ID door, on you? So, Of course I have ID on okay. you. I have to trespass you, so I need to formally well, get you, your ID. No, what are you trespassing me for? I didn't commit a crime. I have to put in our system, so I have to ID you. No, that's not the way it works. Okay. You've been called supervisor. It's not the way okay. it works. I'm standing I, dude, out, I don't want you get. I don't want to get arrested for disorderly or anything. There's no disorderly. Okay. I'm having a civil conversation you? with you. Listen to me. I okay. I'm totally standing. Haven't... I'm standing on public property. I understand. Okay. And I'm not breaking the law. But they want you trespass from their store, so I they, need to they, ID they can you. only have me trespass. I didn't go in the store. And a matter of fact, I'm, where does the, Where's their property line? Where's the property line? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not on their property anymore. I'm here well, talking you to you. Right, and I saw you. All right, on that. so well, if I left, so, I left. I know. So I need to. I, they want you formally trespassed. So I need a, your identification. Then I'm not going to get formally trespassed from somewhere I have a right to be. If you're asking me to leave under threat of arrest, then I will leave. But I'm not going to be trespassed from somewhere I have a right to be. They are trespassing you, so I need to get your identification. They're, they can't trespass me. There's no okay. lawful basis to trespass me. It's a private property. They are. It's not a private property. It's owned by the state. Do you have ID on you, or you're just going to do the same thing that he's doing? I don't have ID on I would like to speak to a supervisor, actually. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay. Nobody's breaking the law. I'm taking pictures out in public. You're going to try to trespass somebody and arrest somebody for taking pictures in public? I wouldn't do that if I was you. It's not a good idea. And a matter of fact, we're not even on their Sorry, property. Guys, Did you need anything uh, from me? I'm going to get your name, yeah. So you're Frank. Um, Frank Wyatt. Yeah. And they were in, on, in front of your property. Yeah, sure. So you're and they said they're investigative journalists. That's fine. That's I told them what I'm doing. I said I'm working on a story. Right, and they're taking pictures of the customers. Perfectly legal. It is? Of course it is. I'm in public. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Yep. But then we have to do it on our no. property, right? Right. You know, I'm not on your property any longer, I'm, am I? I'm going to get a couple down here and we'll figure it out. Frank, can I ask you where the property line is? What's your... Frank, what's your last name? Ryerson, R-Y-A-S-O-N. Okay. Mr. Ryerson, can you tell me where the property line is? No. Well, then how am I supposed to leave your property if I don't know where it is? I said you can go out in the middle of the parking lot. Um, this is, I'm in the, I'm, all, still our, I'm right in front of this building. Yes. yes. That's not the way it works. I want a supervisor. You're not going to trespass me for perfectly lawful, constitutionally protected activity. Otherwise, you're going to be facing a very serious lawsuit, and I don't want to do that either. That's not funny. It's really not funny. You just pull it. You just I threaten just, to arrest I'm just me. I'm not threatening. You got anything. to think. You got a lot of serious things going on in this ID. town, and you're threatening me I, I with arrest ID. for taking pictures I need your in ID public. So I can formally put you in our system as your trespasser. That's not the way it works. Store. I'm not going to formally be in okay. your system. I didn't break the law. He asked me, "Where did you? When you pulled up, what was I doing? I was walking off of the property, correct?" You're on I was walking up to your car. I was right. walking off the property, correct? So he asked me to leave and I left. Okay. End of story. I'm not going to be trespassed from somewhere. Okay. That's unreasonable. Okay. And unlawful. Are you going to get a supervisor for me? I'm getting whoever's coming down. Okay. And I wish we could have had a more cordial conversation. You don't seem interested in that. Well, I, I've asked you for your ID several times. I'm being very is that a lawful concerned. request? Yes, it is a lawful request. How do you feel that's a lawful request? It's really not. Because a private, they're, they're it's not a private business. Their business wants to trespass you. I have to get your. I already needs. left. Okay. They can't trespass. I, have to, I no. have to identify you at first. So no, that's, that's not the way it works. You're not getting my ID. So, get a supervisor down here. That's not the way it's happening. I asked you what your name and badge number I, was. You gave me your name. You didn't tell me your badge I don't number. We have bad numbers. We have call numbers. What's your call number? What is it? K48. K48. Okay, very good. It's not K27. No. You realize this is state-owned property and it's a state-owned business, right? Am I being detained right now? 
Yeah, because you're not giving me your ID. So I'm being detained? Right now you're not free to leave, no. I'm not free to leave, okay. Very good. So if you're gonna, if are you threatening me with arrest if I don't give you my ID? If you're giving me a threat of arrest and you want my ID. I need to identify you, yes. So under threat of arrest, are no, you? I just need your ID. I'm well, not if you're not going to, if you're not threatening arrest, then I'm not going to give you my ID. If you're telling me you're going to arrest me if I don't give it to you, I'll give I it said... to you under duress. That's up to you. I know exactly what I'm doing and I know what the okay, law is and you need totally to educate fine. yourself before and you I, make a big mistake for I, the court I'm waiting for department. my cover to come here before okay. I do anything. Right, good. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, if you want my ID under threat of arrest, I will happily give it to you. Well, you would deny that, so... No, I didn't deny anything. I'm yeah. telling you I'll give it to you. Yeah, you're just creating it. You're making it. You're just trying. I you're on an ego exactly power trip trying to make a scene out of something that doesn't exist. I told you exactly how it works. I need to put you on a system that you are trespassed from the liquor store. And what happens if I don't give you my ID? That's you a reasonable said, question. You're resisting. So that's an arrestable offense. It is an arrestable and offense. And would you arrest me for that? I am waiting for a cover right now. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm, not, I'm telling you, I will give I'm, you my ID if you're threatening me with arrest. I'm not going to talk to you when you're uh, arguing with me. I'm not be, I'm trying to tell you that if you want my ID and you're telling me you're going to arrest me, like I will give ID. you my ID. That's not arguing. Okay. That's offering to comply with your demand, but you're you're obviously looking for a problem. And I'm not trying to give you one. I'm just trying to be a free individual standing up for I my totally rights, agree. and I know what my rights are. Once you trespassed, and I okay. knew who I was speaking to, so I could formally do that in our system. Well, that's what I'm asking you. So if I don't give you my ID, are you going to arrest me? I need your ID, please. I'm asking you. If you don't, what will happen? If I don't give it to you, what's going to happen? Dude, I, I told you right now. That's what I'm asking you to do. They want you formally trespass from their store. They. How are you? Howdy. Good. How are we doing? Pretty good. Good. Can I just ask no, you you're the so I know I'm speaking to? You're talking to her. Okay. Well, oh, she's ID? refusing to answer my question. You're talking to her. Can I please have your ID? I will give you my ID if you're threatening me with arrest. I told you exactly what's happening. If you cannot do it, it's a resisting charge. Can okay, I well, if your you're ID? telling me, so you're telling me you're going to arrest me if I don't give you my ID, yeah, correct? she's telling you she doesn't want to charge you with trespassing and obstructing. So if I don't give you my you ID, I will be arrested. You will. You just earned yourself a lawsuit. Happy okay. day. Good, Good for you. Because I don't mm -hmm. think you understand the there law. You go. Oh, I understand the law very well. You don't. So listen, they want you trespassed, right? I just gave her my ID. And the story. No, listen, they want you trespassed, right? They have no lawful reason they ask me to be trespassed. But they do. It's, it's their business. There's no right? lawful reason. This is state property. No. I'm their... standing here taking pictures. You're going to arrest me for taking photographs in public? No. Listen, yes. it's their business, right? So they want you trespass meaning you can't come in that's fine trespass right? you just earned yourself a lawsuit no that's they want you trespass yeah, you're right? gonna you're, well you guys are the ones demanding my id under threat of arrest so well, now, we, now we i'm gonna facilitate sue you. it right well now so, i'm gonna sue you just facilitated a lawsuit against Coeur d'Alene, and i'm gonna win and that's the way that goes and i'm gonna name you personally and you're i'm informing you right now that you're violating my rights okay. and i'm also informing you that you're violating my rights and what's so your you're record? aware of that you just violated my fourth amendment the rights. rights. Oh, as I understand. The business, right? You don't know who I am. This is not a business. This is a public. This is a, pri a public entity. The so you're state saying they don't business. have the right to kick out people who are Only being disruptive? Only if I'm violating the law. I was not being disruptive. I was standing 20, 30 feet away from the doorway. Well, I don't know what you were doing, but right. they want you. So trespass. why would you accuse me of being disruptive if you don't know what I was doing? Because it's all on two cameras. Because they want you trespass. Right? Well, they could want me sent so, to Mars. You're going to do that too. You have to follow the law, buddy. That's the way it works. Can I get a supervisor, please? I've asked 15 times. Or do I have to call 911 myself? Do it. You're not going to get a supervisor? She's already called for one. Okay. The last minute, please. How are we doing, bud? Not too bad. How are you? Oh, pretty lousy right now. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know it was against the law to take pictures in public in Coeur d'Alene. Didn't say it was. I just got here, so. Yeah. Nobody knows much, huh? Same last name, first of Benjamin, I-N-O-S. This is what you do to people that take pictures in public in Coeur d'Alene. Listen, the business wants you trespass. It right? doesn't matter. It does. This so is public property. If you do you understand that this is public? If I had a business, it would be private property. Okay. This is public property. You're making a mistake. You could smile and smirk all you want. No, so listen, so let's say if you had a business, right? It would be a private business, correct. Okay, open to the public, right? No, it would be open to whoever I allow into my private business. Okay, so what That's not like? the way it works. Private property and public property is a different story. Completely different story, completely different set of rules. The only way you could so trespass the me, store. the only way you could trespass me off of public property is if I've committed a crime. You cannot trespass someone from public property when they have committed no crime. That's the way that works. You're gonna learn the law today. You're making okay. a mistake. 
So And I tried to be civil with her and I tried to have a conversation. She's just running her little ego trip and that's what she wants to do because she feels like she's got a gun and a badge and she can order people around. This is not the way the world works. This is not the way the Constitution of the United States works. You people swore an oath to the Constitution and you swore an oath to protect my rights. And now you've just violated my First Amendment right and my Fourth Amendment right. And you're going to learn that from a judge in court. I have very good attorneys. So, and you have no idea who you're messing with. No idea. So you go places looking for a lawsuit. That's no, I point. go places looking to take photographs and video. Okay. Yep. So it's a state, On public property. It's a state-owned liquor store. That's correct. Yep. And if somebody's being, let's say to somebody, I was being, not being disruptive. Okay. Where's let's, your proof I was being disruptive? I'm, you don't have any. Let's you say, have no lawful reason to ask for my ID. So you made a mistake. Somebody's you being made disruptive. a mistake. No, can you follow my question? Your logic is flawed. You made a mistake. So let's say somebody goes in there and they're being super belligerent. I'm not I didn't saying go that's in there. what you did. I don't know. Let's talk about reality, not subjective possibilities. Well, I'm going to run the scenario by you. Tell me what you no, think. No, why don't you run the proper scenario by and me, which I'll, is and what then happened. I'll talk why don't you run the scenario that I'm standing 20, 30 feet away from the door, not talking to anybody, minding my own business, taking video on public property, and you're going to trespass me for that. You fucked up. I'm sorry. That's a mistake, and you're going to learn that today. And it's going to cost you. You're just you're going to lose your qualified immunity because you're aware that you're violating my constitutional rights. That's the way this game works. No. Yes. Not. Yes. I'm trying to explain you go, to you what Thank they, you? what I'm trying to give you a scenario. You're Tell giving me, me a scenario that doesn't exist. And then let's talk about your All scenario. All right, I'll hear you out. Go ahead. Okay. What's your scenario? So somebody goes now that in you've there. just violated my rights, what's your scenario? Okay. Somebody goes in there being super belligerent. The manager says, I want you trespass. Yes, they're do being they, super belligerent. They, they violated the law. They've caused a public disturbance. Okay. Yes. Okay, so they yep. could. If I stand outside, if, minding my own business, not talking to anybody, taking pictures, so in that's your not scenario, the same story. you were on the sidewalk. That's correct. Taking on public, video. On public property. Taking video of on, people coming. On public okay. property. State, Constitutionally state property. protected activity. State property is public property. That's correct. And you're taking video of people coming in and out. Absolutely. And some guy comes out and says, what are you doing? And I you ignore, say, I'm, I'm, I'm just videotaping well, things. Somebody asked me what I was doing and I said, I'm in the middle of what I'm doing. I would rather not have a discussion. Thank you. Okay. That's exactly what I said. And then he said he wants you and off the And then he sidewalk. got his car and left. No, this guy can't, no, 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 no. You're talking about six different things. You made a, you're making a mistake and I would remedy it as quickly as possible if I was you. All right. Seriously, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time there, Ziegler. I, I was just, you, what I'm trying to explain to you is, is that you cannot trespass somebody from public property, which this is, unless they have committed a crime. That's the law, whether you want to accept that or not. And I asked this officer okay. to check with a supervisor and verify what she was doing before she did it. She threatened me with arrest if I didn't give her my driver's license and identify myself. There is no lawful basis for that since I did not commit a crime and I did nothing wrong. So you have now violated two of my constitutional rights. It, and that's a you, major lawsuit. If the manager wants you trespass, doesn't matter. Pro, it doesn't matter. What if he wanted me trespass because I have a mustard colored shirt on? Is that you're going to trespass me for that? He doesn't like me taking pictures on public property, so you're going to trespass me for that. Makes no sense. And it's starting to sink into your brain. I can see it. You know I'm right. Well, and we should have had this conversation a little more calmly and more civilly when you first got here. Because yeah. I would have been happy to talk it out with you. But now what I you've done is to hear what you said. you violated my rights. You well, people under color of law, we have did. just violated my rights. You did, and you're going to learn that. We well, I know you don't believe that, otherwise you wouldn't be making a stupid mistake. So normally, yeah, we just don't, I know you think we do, we run around No, I don't think, rights. I know. That's what How do you do. know I'm not an attorney? With many, many years of experience of doing what I'm doing, how do you know that? I don't. Right, you don't know anything. Yeah. So why don't you ask the questions when you walk up instead of being a tough guy? Because she, Because you have no, a gun no. and a badge on. No, and because, threatening people listen, with arrest and being obnoxious. She yeah. had a reason to ID you. And no, she does she not. Doing. She had no so, lawful reason to well, ID you. Well, I'm going to back her play with very limited you can information, back, right? You can back up her play whatever you want. They want you trust She made a mistake. Okay. So are you going to sue the liquor store too? I'm going to sue. Yeah, I'm not going to sue anybody. My attorneys are. Oh, okay. Yeah. U.S. Marshal. U.S. Marshal, Fugitive Task Force, really? Wow. So what are we doing now there, officer? Hey, are you releasing me from detainment or what are you doing? Clown, a clown, asshole. Yeah, they just realized they fucked up. That's what their problem is.
They just all ran away like a bunch of scared fucking chickens. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you give her your name? Yeah. Good. Under threat of arrest? Yeah. Good. Good for you. Did you ask her specifically if yeah. she was going to arrest you? Good. Well, there you go, guys. That's prime example. I mean, they want to threaten me with arrest. I'm not going to get arrested. I'd rather, I'd rather allow them to violate my rights, and then we'll just sue them. And that's what's going to happen. I'll be on the phone with my attorney this afternoon. We finally found an attorney that will handle these things. Very difficult. Um, but it's a dude, they all just ran away. Yeah. They all just left. I think we need to go down to the police department and speak to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we should do. All right, guys, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go find the nearest PD and take a ride down there. So uh, we'll pick back up when we get there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are at the main Coeur d'Alene police headquarters here. Um, I believe the lobby is closed, but we're going to ring the bell, see if we can get anybody. Um, and see if we could speak to a watch commander or somebody here um, and find out, A, if I was trespassed or not, because I'm not even clear about that, and B, I need a complaint form to file against the uh, officer who took my ID. So. Well, that's open. After hours, police dispatch. What street is it, Schreiber? Yeah. Yes, hi, I am at your uh, headquarters on Schreiber and I'm looking, sure. Yes, ma'am. And I'm interested in, I'd like to speak to a watch commander if possible. Thank you. My first name is Jason. Yes. I'm calling from the lift this handset in your public lobby at the police department. I do have a phone, yeah, but well, actually my phone's in the car, but I do have a phone with me. Uh, this is in reference to a police officer uh, who just very aggressively demanded my identification without lawful reason, uh, took my ID, did whatever she was going to do with it, jumped in her car, told me I was being detained, jumped in her car and left, never released me from detainment, and I uh, have no idea what the status of anything was. I don't know if I was trespassed from the property I was on, um, and I also need to file a complaint against her. So somebody will come here, or do I? Are they going to call me? I would love them to contact me in person, please. So, so I'll wait here for them. All right, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Take care. So supposedly, some watch commander is going to come meet us here. Got a different story out of this dispatcher. Yeah. I had called a dispatcher on the way here, and I was told that a watch commander would call me back, and uh, I haven't gotten a phone call back. So. Hopefully somebody does show up. I'm gonna go get my phone out of the car in case they call me back. Hello, this is Jason. Hey, Jason, my name's Sergeant Kraft. I'm with the Coeur d'Alene Police Department. Hey, Sergeant Kraft, how are you? Thanks for getting back to me. You bet, how can I help you, sir? Are you available to meet in person at your Schreiber headquarters? Uh, what's this pertaining to? Well, I was just at the uh, Safeway slash uh, state liquor store parking lot and I'm with my son and we were taking some photographs out in the parking lot taking some video and okay. uh, I guess evidently the state liquor store didn't like it that we were out in the parking lot taking video so they called your department uh, your officer um, K48 responded um, got there didn't want to listen to a word I had to say about what I was doing Demanded my identification under threat of arrest, placed me under detainment. This is all on video. 
Um, so I was lawfully, uh, unlawfully detained um, very clearly by her. She demanded my license under threat of arrest, so I gave her my identification based on that threat. Then she handed me my license back, jumped in her car, and took off without saying another word to me, never released me from detention, um, never told me whether or not I was formally trespassed from the property or not, so I don't even know what happened, and uh, I need to file a complaint against her. Which liquor store was this again? You said Safeway? What street was that? Yeah, it was the one that's in the parking lot with Safeway. It's not a Safeway. Or not a Safeway, I'm it's sorry. A, what it? Some private grocery store. Yeah, it's a grocery it's store. I could get you the address, I just don't have it off the top of my head. Is it down there on Sherman? Was it on Sherman? I think, I think so. It was on Sherman. Yeah, I think it was on Sherman. Okay. Okay, so did she actually tell you that? She would arrest you if you didn't provide your ID? Yes, she did. I explicitly asked her, and I also informed her that if she did that, she'd be violating my First Amendment right and my Fourth Amendment right. Um, she didn't. She was laughing, literally laughing in my face. Uh, thought the whole thing was very funny, which I don't think it's very funny at all. Um, you know, I'm with my son taking video in a public parking lot. That, that state liquor store is public property. Um, I committed no crime, harassed nobody, created no disturbance nothing uh she didn't even want to hear my side of the story and she just threatened me with arrest demanded my identification um jumped the handed me my id back literally jumped in her car like running away from me i don't know what the hell even happened uh jumped in the car and just left and i was yelling at her car am i released from detainment am i still detained she wouldn't even answer me and she just left so i have no idea if i can go back there and buy a bottle of booze i don't know if i'm trespassed off the property um I don't know what she did. I don't, it was very shady. The whole thing was very suspicious. And uh, I, first of all, need to know if I was formally trespassed from that property or not, obviously, because um, that's a dangerous little game she's playing. And secondly, I need to file a complaint against her. And then that'll be going directly to my attorney. Okay. Well, uh, we record every contact. So I'm going to have to check out her body camera and see what, uh, what that tells me. And I will have to call you back. Well, how do I file a complaint? I don't want to wait to file the complaint. I'm only here, I'm traveling, and I'm only here until tomorrow morning. And I'm here at your police department, and I'd like to officially give you the complaint now unless you refuse to take it. Well, I think you just did over the phone. That's all it takes. I don't need you to sign anything. I don't need to necessarily see you in person. Uh, everything you just told me is we can get the ball rolling on that and go forth with what you provided me just now. All right, well, I want to go back to the liquor store now, so how do I know if I was trespassed or not? They're only open until 8 o'clock. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to uh, call down there to the liquor store, and I'll again get that answered. The officer is saying that the staff wanted you trespassed, so I need to shore that up with them and make sure that that's, in fact, what they desire. Well, the staff, the, the manager named Frank told her that he wanted me trespassed because I was outside taking pictures. So, yeah. being on public property, which that state liquor store is public property, I cannot be trespassed off a of public property unless I've committed a crime, which I did not. I was never asked yeah. to. I was never asked to leave by the officer. She never asked me to leave. Never gave me the opportunity to leave. And as a matter of fact, when she pulled up, I was walking off of the property and met her at her car off the property. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, they probably just they can decide not to let you inside inside the business but you're right it's a state property so uh being on the property isn't necessarily criminal but they can refuse service to anybody because they are a business right well i never went i never went inside the property in the building i was outside in the parking lot the entire time right so okay and and i was informed by your officer that i was being trespassed she got in her car she literally i don't know what it was it was like little kids scattering it was like it was like mice scattering when the cat shows up. I mean, she's just all of a sudden out of nowhere, after I informed her that she was violating my rights and got a little more legal in our conversation, she just jumped in her car and left. Now, like I said, never released me from detention, never clarified whether or not I was trespassed. And you know, those are some serious things and I need I can't really wait until tomorrow for answers about that stuff. Well, give me just a little bit of time and I'll review her body camera footage and I will call you back. Okay, and as far as filing a complaint against her, have I filed that complaint with you? Yeah, your phone call suffices. Okay, and um, 
what happens with that? How do I follow up on the complaint? What's your process? Well, first of all, I need to bet if there's any truth to it. So I think that body camera footage is helpful to me. Okay. And then if it matches up with what you said, then we'll start forward the paperwork process and start a formal complaint. Uh, if it doesn't match up, then that's problematic. Okay. But if it does match exactly what you're saying, then we can take some steps to rectify the problem and correct that and hold her liable if that's what needs to happen. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. So will you be calling me back this evening? Yeah, I'll call you back this evening. Okay. And I'm sorry, what was your last name again, Sergeant? Kraft. Kraft. I appreciate your courtesy and professionalism, Sergeant. I look forward to hearing back from you. All right, sir. Thank All right. you very much. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to wait for Sergeant Kraft to call us back. And... Uh, We'll keep the ball rolling here, so we're not going to let this one go. Stand by. Hey, Jason. Sergeant Kraft with Coeur d'Alene Police again. Hey, I told you I'd call you back. Uh, a few things. It looks like uh, like we talked on the phone. The manager of the liquor store doesn't want you inside the store, so uh, as long as you can adhere to that, that would be great. Uh, and like we talked, the property itself is state-owned and public property, so... They can tell you to stay out of the store, and it sounds like they don't want you inside the store. Uh, secondly is uh, the complaints against our officer, and I reviewed the body camera footage, and I see your concerns. Uh, although since you have spoken about filing a complaint through your attorney and getting your legal counsel involved, I'm actually no longer able to talk to you about that or discuss this incident with you, so it would be up to your attorney to contact our legal department. Uh, and you know, continue that if that's what you wish to do. I hope this addresses all of your concerns and, and uh, your questions. And uh, enjoy the rest of your stay here in Coeur d'Alene. Thank you.